spaceship will self-destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. Are you okay, Max? Hmm. I don't feel disintegrated. You? No more than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Feverly. Forgot you were in there. The indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? Well, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. No, we're gonna have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Nah, I knew the peace and quiet was too good to last. Why can't every belief system have a transit system this efficient? This is what happens to babies that get thrown out with the bathwater. Hey, what are you guys working on over there? Psh, you surface dwellers just wouldn't understand. Surface dwellers is actually one of the nicest things we've been called. Poor Bosco. The shock of seeing time-traveling mariachis was too much for his heart to take. Stress-induced heart attacks are the second most common cause of death for conspiracy freaks obsessed with alien abduction. What's the first? Unexplained organ removal. All those times on the Mariachi spaceship when you saw only one set of footprints? That was when I carried you. Oh, for heaven's sake! I heard rumors about a company burying millions of Mimesweeper cartridges, but I always thought that was in the desert. I bet the sandworms carried them here. Looks like the bottom dropped out of the Esperanto literature business. Aw, cute, Max. It's a little goth mole man. Token. Token mole man? So now we're underrepresenting the mole man demographic? I thought we were just insensitive to women and minorities. No, you need a token. You've ruined my big entrance. Wait. Harry Molman? In a past life, yes. Now I am become deaf! What are you doing here? Didn't you hear me? I'm deaf! Wait, hang on. Ah, false alarm. Tumor was benign. How did you get to be deaf? Hell's been on a big corporate efficiency kick lately. And they're passing the savings on to me. We've been outsourcing the coolest jobs, and I underbid the last guy. Have you seen Bosco's soul lying around anywhere? Bosco? Hmm, Bosco. Is that his first or last name? We never asked. Or cared, really. Well, the last soul train came through about 30 minutes ago, so he's probably already in hell. How do we get to hell? Well, you have to take the soul train. Naturally. Your final stop depends on what's in your permanent record. But uh, if you two are trying to get to hell, that uh, really shouldn't be a problem. How do we get to hell? Well, you have to take the soul train. Naturally. Your final stop to hell, that... Uh... We want to take the next train out of here. Nobody gets on board the soul train without a token. How do we get one of those? You automatically get one when you die at your appointed time. Well, cheer up, fellas. You'll be dead soon enough. How do we get a token again? You automatically get one when you die. But it has to be your time. So don't try jumping the turnstiles with any murder-suicide packs. Nuts! See you later, Harry. Maybe sooner than you think. Is this what you expected from the afterlife, Max? Not at all. It's dark, it smells like sewage, and I'm only seeing two virgins.
I wonder if Bosco has a huge life insurance policy, or if he left us millions of dollars in his will. I doubt it. Who would be gullible enough to give Bosco that kind of money? Oh, wait. Just think, Max. Miles of tunnels underneath the city, containing the Mole Men's magnificent civilization, unspoiled by man. You say magnificent civilization, I say tax dodge. Harry Molman isn't at all how I pictured the personification of death. But now people will be encouraged to stay alive so they can avoid talking to him. Mind the gap, Max. I don't have to! The gap's not my real father! Hey, pal, can you... Whoa, wait! Yours really knows how to fill out a suit! Well, I never... Hey, buddy, can you help us get into hell? I'm on break! How'd we end up on our own street? You mean, we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. Hiya, cops. Hello, and welcome to Pimp the Car. <laughs> is it my imagination, or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. We have been using laughing gas to keep him sedated. What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car! For a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah! I can take that mother out of the street away, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line! Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam! We're sorry, but your vehicle has gone on to a better place. We are sorry for your loss. Can't you fix it? We're afraid the car is completely dead. Repairing it is beyond our current skill level. <laughs> it still had so much to live for. Can't you guys upgrade the DeSoto? The nitrous speed upgrade is only for vehicles in working condition. We're sorry, but your vehicle is completely dead. Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Wait, you've been selling the leftovers from his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. Oh, the irony. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. Hmm, they're closed. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here! I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it! Girlfriend, dish! He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him! Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh. It's no bother. Relax. No! Whee! Sure, they talk about personality, but Miss America always goes to the fox. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go down to Balls R Us. Right now it's two balls for the price of one. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. 
she needs a tattoo of a woodchuck claiming a prize at a raffle. Look at all the food on the menus, Max. Hey, she misspelled appetizer. Stop saying things out of character. Snooty overpriced wedding invitations. I still haven't gotten my invitation. Strange, since the wedding's only hours away. Lost in the mail, I'm sure. Cake at a wedding? Okay. Hey, it's open! Just kidding. It's locked. Hiya, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As President of the U.S. and High Priest of the Ocean Chimps, I've qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. Hmm, how to put this tactfully? They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. Well, what's the wedding gonna be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask! Oh wait, he doesn't know what that means, does he? Just let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombies' arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? That's a lovely offer, but no thanks. Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Ugh, we're gonna have to get a leash. Back in the trunk, gruesome! Don't you dare take him away. I've been spilling all the details of my whirlwind romance with Abe. It's just like talking with my girlfriends. Why am I made to suffer so? Good luck, Sybil. How you doing, Gruesome? What have you been doing since you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind. Over and over again. Hey, Monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me. Featherly laid an egg. Don't ask me how. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. Alright! Monster! Monster! Hmm. Never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. Hey, Max! Yo! I never realized the monster had such a huge crush on Sybil. It's understandable. She's the first girl he's ever seen who wasn't a zombie or a Jurgen. He's a girl, right? Can you think of anything more heartbreaking than unrequited love? I got it. Having your wedding party crashed by a lone gun-wielding psychotic. That's just weird and pointlessly creepy. What's so heartbreaking about that? being haunted for decades by the knowledge she could have avoided the bloodshed if she'd only invited me. I wonder what made Abe finally pop the question to Sybil. I don't trust him, Sam. He's just after her money. Sybil doesn't have any money. He just wants the fives, the sick freak. Stay on the lookout, Max. So, Monster, I was thinking of using... Oh, did he die again? I'm up! I'm up! He's alive! I don't have time for this! Would it be in poor taste to direct the monster's attention to this? Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me! I can't believe that DeSoto died while we were away. There's so much I never got the chance to say. That'd be a nice place to live. But the whole interview process and rental agreement is way too strict. At least the part where they let you try to put a camel through the eye of a needle is fun. You know I'm a slave to fashion, but that bottled mole man musk is way too expensive. All you gotta do is frighten one of them and they'll scent mark it for no charge! Hmm, we should stock up on papal indulgences while we've got the chance. Eh, that's a scam. I get all my indulgences from the internet for free. Hey, we could use a new handbasket for the next time we're frolicking about in a leafy glade. I can never
never find one that goes with my outfit. Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Ms. Mama Bosco. You think just because I'm dead you don't have to respect my independence? How'd you get to be a ghost? I don't know. I was sitting in my apartment when all of a sudden there was this explosion. I don't remember hearing or causing an explosion. It was a great big geyser of vinegar and baking soda. Wait a second. Where is your apartment exactly? On the second floor above the store, fool. Where else would I live? How do we get to your apartment? Hell if I know. Some fool blew up the stairs. Wasn't somebody there to guide you to the afterlife? There was some little man who kept going on about a token and some train, but the second explosion scared him off. Now the stairs are destroyed and I can't get up there to get that token. Did you get a token for the afterlife? I told you, it's still up in my apartment. Sorry for your loss. Any final arrangements you want us to take care of? Oh, I ain't going anywhere yet. Even if I could get to the afterlife, I can't rest until I find the man who trashed my store. But that was over 40 years ago. Wow, she really holds a grudge. I'm glad I broke up with her. I spent the last 40 years thinking up new ways to make his life a living hell. But then she says things like that, which makes me love her even more. Well, this guy who trashed your store, what did he look like? I never got a good look at his face. Which is why I hired that P.I. to track him down. But I remember he was about six feet tall. Like Bosco? Yeah. And he had big, bulbous forearms. Kinda like Bosco's forearms. Right. And he was kinda balding, with skin that wasn't quite purple, but sort of... Bosco, Kelly? Yeah, you could say that. Have you two seen the guy? Well, we haven't seen anyone who fits that description, ma'am. Have you seen Bosco lately? Not as much as a mother likes, no. I'm always upstairs plotting my revenge, and he's always busy working on his inventions, losing track of time. That's why I send him an alarm clock every Christmas. Well, you'll get to see more of him now that you're both dead. Let's not bother the poor woman any more than we already have, Max. Don't go into the light. Oh, I ain't going into any light until I find out who's responsible for this. Hiya, Flint. What's shaking? Can't talk, fellas. I'm still waiting for Bosco to get back. Oh, we already found Bosco. Yeah, his corpse is already decaying down in the sewer. Heh, <laughs> that's cute, little pals. But I got a 40-year-old case to wrap up here. I never even noticed there was a place up there before. President still missing. Nation panic. The nation panics when I go missing. They panic when I make presidential addresses. I wish they'd make up their minds already. Mysterious heat wave grip city. Whew, this keeps up. I'll have to strip down to my beach costume. Ooh, it's getting hot down there. Ten dollars for 15 seconds. Oh shoot, there's a giant time-traveling elevator blocking the door. Hey! Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would ya? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. I don't want to bother ourselves. Our past selves are probably going to be in the office this whole case. And look at them, leaving every light in the place turned on. Hey, some of us have to pay electric bills, you know! Kinda creepy how Bosco's been keeping his mama cooped up in that apartment all this time. You know, a boy's best friend is his mother. It's getting dark. Are we out past your bedtime, little buddy? We'll sleep when we're dead! I didn't get any shut-eye when we died before. Then we'll nap when we're dead! We just won't overdo it. We'll, we'll get all headachy. Let's go, Max. Looks like the rat's seedy giant robot carcass casino is finally getting a light show. 
not casino. Family entertainment complex. Get it right. It's a rock. Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We haven't seen much of you lately. Yeah, well, I got an image to maintain. Can't be seen with you, lowlifes. You know, that's a lot of attitude for somebody we first met crawling up our toilet. I gone legit. I'm building a child-friendly resort destination here. Is the Mametron coming back to life? Nah, he's brain dead. We're turning him into a fantastic laser light show. You know, for the kids. Families go apes over that kind of crap. What does Tiny Timmy think of the new kid-friendly casino? He said, it's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Out of the foul mouths of babes. And once this place takes off, I can finally afford to get a cure for his terminal Tourette syndrome. Problem is, Morty Pipewalk is the only one of us with an electrical engineering degree. And he ain't been right in the head ever since he drank that drain cleaner. What we need is a computer. How go the renovations, Jimmy? I got my best engineers working on the computerized laser light show. Gonna be hella classy. What's there? It's all neat and computery. It's got to help out with your laser light show. Thanks, Sam and Max. This will be quite a... At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. That ain't right. What did you guys do? Reconfiguring neural network stops. So, you're back from outer space. Evacuate! Evacuate! <laughs> Oh no, not I. I will survive. I will survive. Tiny Timmy. <laughs> so cold. So f***ing cold. Medic! Hello, for emergency medical service, press or say one now. Just save my fool. Hang on, Timmy. Live, damn it, live. Well, if that doesn't help us get into hell, nothing will. Hi, robot. Greetings, morons. What's with the attitude? The artificial intelligence unit you installed is refreshingly blunt, jackass. My tax subroutines have been disabled. I don't care what I say anymore, this is my life. Now that you're mostly rat-free, what's next for you, Mr. Mametron? I am planning to relocate. Not that it is any of your business. Are you gonna make a move to a town that's right for you? Affirmative. A town to keep me moving. To keep me grooving with some energy. You wanna do us a favor? I can't go for that. No can do. With my new AI, I can only be controlled remotely. You wanna do us a favor? I can't go for that. No can do. With my new AI, I can only be controlled remotely. We'll talk to you later. You can call me. Call me anytime. Woo! Let me! Let me! There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. I Here I go again, on my own. I read the news today, oh boy. No, you're never gonna get it. Gonna take the midnight train, woo woo. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Robot full of seriously injured rats, and I've got a quota to fill. Hold your pale horses. We're working on it. Whee! So there's the gumball machine we've been missing. 
Oh, I wouldn't say we've been missing it. Hey, it's a Mr. Reaper phone. Hey, good looking. I'll be back to cut you down later. One adult and one max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. Shut up, Max. Er, zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good. Put your token in the machine to call the train. Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. Jorgen. One moment. This is hell. Danke for holding. No. Hell. You... What number were you trying to reach? No. We are 666. Yeah. No, no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge. He's taken Bosco's soul too early. I see. Well, his schedule is full at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. And you are... Uh, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, yes. The ones who sent me here. Oh, I'll get right on that. Jürgen, be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Oh, dear. Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry, I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, would you? I'll be in my office. Oh, did I forget to introduce you? <laughs> How careless of me. You can have a seat and wait if you like. Hill, LLC. Limited liability was a good choice. I don't want to think about these guys' legal fees. The contract negotiations alone must be a nightmare. This is hell. Hold, please. Yes? We want to talk to Satan. Yes. Well, I fear you just missed him. Much like you just missed saving me when you had the chance. Well, yeah, but you know, you are kind of evil. And you killed us! No matter. I will mention you are waiting next time the boss visits. He drops by every 66 years or so. When do we get to see Satan? Mm, he's a very hands-off manager. He never visits the office unless there is a problem. Can we get a tour of the place? You'll have to guide yourselves. I have to answer the phones. For eternity! Don't we need a visitor's badge or something? No, as frequent contributors, you can go where you like. Just look, though. Don't touch anything. We want to visit Bosco. Where's he hanging out? No, if he is a friend of yours, he has a personalized hell in the back. This isn't at all what I expected from hell. It's, uh, soulless. Yeah, which is kind of missing the whole point of hell. But the corporate presence has done wonders for our productivity. My soul-taking operation, which you destroyed. The soul-crushing and delivery system, which you destroyed. Hell is now running at peak efficiency. Or at least it was. Where's all the cool hell stuff? Yeah, like the carnivorous beetle pits and acid baths and karaoke bars. 
please. This is so divinely comical. This is the 21st century, dog. Where are all the demons? Yeah, they either have desk jobs or they're working inside the personal hells in disguise. Hold all our calls. Mm, yes, this is so funny to the point that I cannot remember to laugh. I really shouldn't. I'm watching my weight. Don't worry. They're all nearsighted. There's no point if I can't say, see you in hell, first. Whee! Jeez. It must be from the bad side of Hubert's family. Stuttgart Nightlife. Figures the reading material in hell would be two months old. I wonder if that thing folds out into a bed of spikes. I think we're getting the runaround, Max. How do we register a formal complaint? When you find out, make sure you mention that somebody's attire is completely inappropriate for the workplace. This is somehow not as exciting as I'd always imagined it. Yeah, I thought heaven was the place where nothing ever happens. You know, we wouldn't have to come here in person if they'd just install a decent video conferencing system. Mm, that's too cold and impersonal. Hell is all about FaceTime. See you in hell, Max. It's one minute to closing. Forever. Reminds me of that great Mamas and Papas hit. Monday, 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 Monday. Wrath. Lust. Greed. Pride. Sloth. Hey, shambling corporate presence. Blarg? What you working on? Blarg. Hmm, it's slackers like him that give hell a bad name. You don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm, it looks cold. I can't even get a hot cup of coffee in hell! Some word magnets, haphazardly arranged. Work or the Dark Lord will eat your soul. Hmm, I would have gone with work or the Dark Lord will eat your donut. Hey, buddy. Look, it's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Fine, don't say hi. Nice trick with your head. Do exorcisms work on people already in hell? You busy? We're going for lunch. Wanna come? Did you get that meeting request I sent? What are your dreams? Hey, sorry about killing you last year. It happens. What do you do here? I work for the largest division of hell! The FCC! Doing what? I bleep! Right here in your cubicle? In front of Satan and everyone? You bleep? I listen for naughty words, and I bleep them! No swearing, no cursing, and no oaths of any kind. That takes the fun out of everything. Exactly! Can we say... Nope. What about... Nope. What about... Tugger? Yanker? Tool handler? Hmm. Okay, All right. well, good to know. What about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the buckin' surfboard? <laughs> oh yeah, you should have bleeped that shit out of that. Buckin' is not on the list. Sorry. Later, Hugh Bliss. It's a list of swear words. And
Brady Kulcher? You're dead? I didn't even know he was sick. How do I not get an obituary? I'm a major television star, an international buzz generator. A cosmic pain in my backside. What are you doing in hell? Live in large. I'd been a temp in purgatory for the last year and a half, but finally, I'm a full-time employee. Right, we don't actually care. We're famous TV stars. Sticks and stones. I don't care what anyone says. I'm in hell, and I'm happy. Forgive me, my mouth is too parched for a spit take, but... You like hell? What? I mean, sure, the wailing of millions of tortured souls gets a little old, and my headphones are ten sizes too small. But none of that matters, because I finally found someone who believes in me. Satan. He is the only true equal opportunity employer. You're telling me Satan thinks you're actually good for something? That's right. I'm finally somebody. Too bad you had to die to become somebody. The ironic reversals were so thick, you could cut them with a knife. How'd your fro grow back so fast? Elf tears. Does your on-the-job training include evil laughsmanship? <laughs> I guess that's a no. Laugh. <laughs> Later, Brady. <clears throat> Can we have your key card? Well, considering you already took it, I guess so. I don't need it anymore. Now that I'm full time in hell, suckers. Yeah, Brady, you win. Things have gotten so bad, they had to cut minimum wage in half. Well, well, Mr. Spatula, it finally all makes sense. Coming back from hell as a ghost, manipulating the gullible ocean chimps, making the volcano explode to summon the mariachis, it was all part of your evil plan. It wasn't part of your evil plan? Well, that wasn't too bad, if you were making it up as you went along. I hope that was an evil laugh. Okay, who forgot to fill the pot? Your mama don't work here. Hey, we needed her token. It has three settings. Bake, popcorn, and cremate. The only place here that's room temperature. I guess the kitten was off on another photo shoot. Nothing inspires investors like a few dead smugglers frozen in carbonite. Ask anyone. Ah, they went for the swivel throne. Good choice. Sexual harassment and you. Uh-oh, I've touched all those places. Several times. Hey, Max! Yo! If hell's always been this nearby, I wonder why we've never visited before. It's definitely not from lack of invitations! If hell's always been this... It's de All things considered, this place isn't so bad. Your own cubicle, full benefits... Hell, throw in some stock options and I'd worship Satan! Huh? No, no, worship me! Worship me! Oh man, these former TV stars will not let go of their catchphrases. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Did you hear that Stalin over in accounting got demoted last week? I heard he was dipping his slide rule in the company breadbasket to try and shimmy his way to the middle, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, I have no idea what you're saying. See you in hell, Max. I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? Must be the kids' play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco! Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything! It looks like everybody's permanent record's on file but they're all locked. 
dedicated to Sam and Max for a lifetime of generous donations of souls, both evil and simply led astray. Still running at peak efficiency. In hell, misery is job one. Sam the Devourer. Very flattering like this. Max the Destroyer. Oh, they got my bad side. I want a do-over. Hi, little Bosco. We see you in there. Dear God, they're watching me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Was it something we said? Help me. Help me. <laughs> oh, no. It's Santa. Shut up. I'll never get any work done with that infernal crying! Santa's inside, looking pretty upset that we shipped him to hell. It's one of Santa's elves. Oh dear, I'll never make my ship date with all these distractions. Santa's elf looks overworked and underloved. That looks like our car. What did it do to deserve hell? I guess these days you just have to be an accomplice. Is that Grandpa Stinky? <laughs> More looky loos come to see the big show, have ye? All these people ended up in hell because of us? Seeing them all on display like this is so much more impressive than just a list of names on my resume. Satan runs this place like a well-oiled machine. Do torture machines need to be oiled? If you want them to last over a hundred thousand miles, they do. We've got to find a way to get all of our pals out of hell. <laughs> Compared to the kind of torment we can put them through, this place is amateur class. See you in hell. You know where to find me. Ah, the key card unlocked the dioramas. Where to? Oh no! More people coming to watch me! Bosco, you're... Nude. Silence. Silence! It's okay, baby. We're all still watching you. For eternity. Ah! Hola, Demon Mariachi. Hola. What's your story? I got a job watching Bosco for all eternity. I don't have that much time. Can we just call it a day now? No, I just can't look away. It's like a car accident or a funeral, but not as beautiful. Senor, I am watching you all the time. T-H-E-M! Ah! Howdy, Demon Sybil. Howdy! What you doing? I'm analyzing Bosco, and it's causing him excruciating, never-ending agony. Wow! Sorry, didn't mean to brag. Well, Bosco, I've almost gotten to the root of your problems. But I'll have to keep studying you. Forever and ever. Stop looking at me, woman! Hey, Demon Sybil, leave Bosco alone. But I have to watch him. What else am I going to do? Take a break, why don't you? No, I just can't look away. It's like a car accident or a funeral. Hi, Demon Mama Bosco. That's Ms. Demon Mama Bosco to you. What are you doing? I'm watching Bosco suffer eternally. Isn't it great? Uh, you know, it's all right. I've still got my eyes on you, sugar. Sweet Tabasco, make it stop! Hey, Miss Demon Mama Bosco. Lay off Bosco, will ya? Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do. Um, hey, hey there, Bosco. Don't look at me! Trust me, we don't want to see you any more than you want to be seen. Why are you standing naked on a stage in front of your mother, your therapist, and a Mexican? Wait, wait, I know this one. I'm in some kind of one-man play, but it never ends, and I don't know any of the lines! Bosco's Personal Hell. A play in an infinite number of acts. Phew, I thought waiting for Godot sucked. What do you have to do in this play? Well... 
I just got done playing a game of truth or dare with all my ex-girlfriends. And after this, I gotta get a root canal while taking an algebra quiz. Oh! I didn't even study! Why don't you just leave? I can't. I gotta perform. They're watching me. Who? Them! <laughs> I scared myself. Who's watching you again? Them! <laughs> so, how are things? Oh, you know, not too bad. Except, I'm in hell! Eternal damnation sure made somebody cranky. Cheer up, Bosco. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. What are you talking about? Of course it's real. I've been pinching myself to be sure. My face is real. My chest is real. My stomach is real. My okay, uh... we get your point. Do you have any... Boy, I'm standing buck naked on an empty stage miles below the surface of the earth. Does it look like I have anything? Do you have any chainsaw gasoline? I really am in here. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. See you around, Naked Bosco. I don't think I'll ever stop seeing you. Save me! It's Whee! nitrous oxide. Looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. Bosco's naked. I'm doing everything I can not to think about that. On naturel. You're not helping. In the raw. I'm not listening. In the book. In his birthday suit. Shut up. Nude. These demons must really be starved for entertainment if this fascinates them. The circus never comes to hell. But the squirrel nut zippers will be here next Friday. Hey. Remember this place? No. That makes none of us. Shall we? Let's. Oh, we expanded again. I thought I'd finally figured out how to keep the weight off. Santa's workshop, the jolly old elf working hard on his delivery, the sound of children playing, and a jaunty Christmas jingle. How could this possibly be hell? Maybe Santa's Jewish? Nah, I've fooled with enough toy plane switches for one lifetime. This long after Christmas and Santa still got his tree up? Boys are all just as lame as Santa remembers them. Leave the nice Santa alone and let him do his work. Santa has not yet learned true suffering. Let's all be quiet and let Santa Claus do his thing. Uh-oh. I think I need to be changed. No, wait. Hold along. Leave Santa alone, demon baby. Do not interfere, grown-up. Get lost, demon baby. I have to torment him. It's my job must be the current toy in production. Is this trampoline still useless? Yep, still useless. The creepily high-tech toy delivery system. I wonder where these gifts are going. Look out, evil! Rick Skirmish is here! I don't know how to work it. Computers in hell all run Linux. Hmm, I thought we took the North Pole. Yeah, must be one of those cheap hell-made knockoffs. Ah, this record player brings back memories. Oh, you never forget your first semi-successful exorcism. It's magically sealed. Torture me owner must feel right at home here. Howdy, Mr. Kringle. We're back. Huh? Yo, Sam and Max. Hot enough for ya? Hmm. 
Well, it is a bit warm, now that you mention it. it but I can't worry about that. I've got too much work to do recalling this blasted toy. But these beastly children are ruining my concentration. Like I'm in hell. What kind of miserable work are you doing here, Santa? I'm recalling dangerous toys. Ah, oh, I recall the dangerous toys of my youth. The savage tongue ripper. Little patio fisticuffs, the belligerent drunken leprechaun. Oh, I remember that one. He, he really wet himself. Having to recall toys must be horrible for you. Hellish, even. I know. I love recalling toys. Boopy! The problem is these babies make it impossible to concentrate. What's got you so down again? I can't work with these blasted babies and I can't get rid of them! It's... the hell! What dangerous toy are you recalling this time? It's the Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. Completely irresponsible, and it just keeps coming back even worse. Oh, it's taken me four months just to get them to remove the candy-flavored lickable lead-based chest tattoo. Which toy is that you're working on again? Some death trap called the Rex Skirmish Danger Hero Doll. I'm going to be recalling the hell out of this one. What's the matter with the babies, Chris? Santa loves children. Why do people always assume that? I took the one job where there's only one day a year there's even a chance I'll be near children. With very strict rules that they're not allowed to see me. Well, when you put it that way... How do you think a virile man like me has been married for centuries with no kids? Did you think of that? I'm trying really hard not to think about that right now, or ever again. Everybody knows Santa loves kids. Yeah, so much that I moved to the one place in the world where there's no children. Wake up, people! Have a holly jolly eternal damnation. Ha 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 What did I do to deserve this? You'll have to do better than that to defeat Rex Skirmish! The bullet bounced right off. Haha! <laughs> You'll have to do- The bullet bounced right off. Being here, I can't help but feel jolly. Ah, there's just something about hell this time of year. I wonder if we're partly to blame for Santa getting sent to hell. Seeing as how we knocked him out, sealed him in a box, and called for the delivery guy to pick him up, I feel indirectly responsible. If Santa hates kids, then getting into his line of work was about as foolish as... As joining the freelance police when you're allergic to dogs? Max, I never knew. Because I carry on without whining about it, Sam. That is how much I love justice. I still can't figure out why Santa would take his job when he hates children. Maybe he's just really into home invasion. Merry Christmas, Max. There's no place like hell for the holidays. This is as fast as it goes, little buddy. We are in hell!
looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the doll's heads. I hear it's strangely hypnotic. Oh, there's no assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. What's pumping out those jets from Santa's workshop? I hope the elf can work this stuff, because I sure can. His arm's off. Tis but a flesh wound. It's magically sealed. So many presents and no one to play with them. It's enough to make you cry a custard. Toy in production. Very useful to have in hell. Look, Max, it's our favorite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favorite, but he's in the top five at least. Oh, hey guys. We haven't seen you since the exorcism. How'd you end up here? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I went outside to find Santa. But the last thing I saw was a horrible monster. I must have fainted. When I woke up, I was in this fancy factory. I guess Santa gave me another promotion. You're looking chipper. Are you enjoying sending overpriced toys out to overprivileged children? Oh no, it's awful. No matter what I do, my toys keep getting sent back. Okay, look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean you're good at making toys. Stop living the stereotype. Oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that when there are no children to enjoy them? It's like being in, well, the place where bad people go and it's really hot. Tampa? What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero Action Figure. He's a testosterone-packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. The head office keeps sending him back, but I know I can make him perfect! Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could be just what I need. Childlike! Alright, first, what kind of cool outfit should he have? He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done! Now, what should his action-packed attachment be? A list of the other toys who have wronged him. A constant reminder of his insatiable quest for vengeance. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. Santa's elf sure are loyal to follow him all the way to hell. Maybe Santa's like one of those pharaohs, having all his servants buried along with him. Now you've just got me wondering what a mummified Santa would look like. There's one easy way to find out. We hope when we die, they put our hells close to each other. It'd be like a slumber party that never ends! We should probably make a reservation pretty soon. Any ideas on how we can improve that elf's doll? It's an action figure, Sam! Dolls are for girls. Okay then, how can we improve that elf's action figure? I think he should have a sparkly outfit and a pony. Ever feel like your heart's just not into detective work anymore? Yeah, all these evil toy factories start to look the same after a while. Keep on doing that thing you do, Max. My next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> which I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. 
To the base of milk and pickle juice, just add a little chocolate-covered horseradish. Damn! And after the break, another circle! Woohoo! Woo ah, get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Growing up stinky, the early years. Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. It's magically sealed. I don't think I can eat lard on my diet. It's just for show, but what a show it is. This smells like cruel and unusual punishment, even for hell. But the cooler's not for food. It's for the inevitable organ transplants following the show. They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Tyrone! Uh, 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 uh. Now, Miss Stinky, I've warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean and that'd be fabulous! I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show. I will slaughter you all. Hiya, Stinky. What's cooking? I've been wondering when you two would show up. He remembered us! We were right all along. Girl Stinky really did murder you. Maybe next time a couple of travelers from the future come to you with a warning, you'll pay attention. Murdered my impacted colon? It was not but a mountain climbing accident that felled old Stinky. Did you say you were killed in a mountain climbing accident? Aye, I was in the Himalayas, halfway up the north face of the Devil's Nipple, when my support cables just fell off. If only someone had developed a better adhesive. Your hell is just being on a TV show? I thought for sure a mean old coot like you would end up buried up to your neck in poo or something. Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. Not bad. Just look at that crowd hanging on her every word. And they've got the nerve to reduce me to her... A sous chef! I can't appreciate a real genius of the culinary dark arts! So Stinky's got her own show. What's the big deal? Every second this show stays on the air is like swallowing another handful of acid-dipped razor blades, twisting and churning in my gut. Well, as long as you aren't bitter. So what is the deal between you and girl Stinky anyway? She was my protege. I made her what she is today. But now they call me her apprentice. Pah! We'll let you get back to the show. Yeah, we can't wait to try out Girl Stinky's next dish. You're so lucky to get to work with her. Pah! We did warn you about Max's special dietary needs, right? Go away. Hey, someone opened the two-teeth drawer. Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. Slacker. What are we doing here, Pax? To make sure we didn't leave the oven on? No, nah, I'd hope that Hell has adequate fire insurance. Then it must be to help out Grandpa Stinky or something. Grandpa Stinky's got a really bad attitude about Girl Stinky's popularity. Yeah, why can't he be as mature as you? You're not jealous of me, even though I'm the one that everybody loves best. Right. The checks are still made out to me and I don't have to pose for hats and t-shirts. I always wondered what a cooking show in Hell would be like. I expected more Brussels sprouts for some reason. 
Bon appétit, Max. This ought to boost the DeSoto spirit. The tank just shrunk to the perfect size when I put it in. Now that's efficiency. This is as fast as it goes, little buddy. We are in hell! Look at me! Looks like Sam and Max got themselves into another jam. Let's see what happens when old Bosco's demons get a load of this. That's something else, I tell you what. I'm impressed. And delighted. Are you sure you can't look away? Oh my god, I'm not being what? I'm free! Quick, Bosco, let's bamoose or skedaddle, whichever's faster. Bamoose! All right, guys! You actually did it. Actually? But that Satan dude still owns my soul. I'm gonna uh, chill here till you work things out with him. Chill in hell. That, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Brady, Brady, Brady. We've taken a tremendous hit in efficiency. Are we going to have to demote you back to hourly? No, 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 sir. I'll do better. Hey, Lucifer, we want to talk to you. What? I'm quite busy. Set on an appointment with my secretary. Man, Satan's a jerk. Who does he think he is? We're going to have to do some more damage to get his attention. next time. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toy? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted types. Oh, listen to that silence! <laughs> it's heaven! Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Uh-oh, Satan. Your place is only running at 70% efficiency. <clears throat> yeah, well, there's your problem. You're gonna wanna switch to high-octane souls to bump that mother back up to the green. Mr. Bliss, I... Oh, you bless! Yes, I know. I took a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that! I still believe you're doing a great job! Oi! Diablo! Not you again. Go away. Have a wonderful day! We're not getting that guy's attention until we bring the whole place down. It's one minute to closing. Forever.
you holding up, Timmy? Who's that? An angel? He ain't got much time left. He's starting to hallucinate, and the Tourette's is getting worse. What's that, St. Peter? Why, yes, I'd love to play with you. <laughs> oh, Hiya, Jimmy. How's the kid? The doctor says that a fall from a great height is the worst possible thing for somebody with terminal Tourette's. We are doing all that we can. I'll give you everything I got, Doc. I've done a lot of bad stuff in my life, but Timmy's an innocent. It's Timmy Two Teeth's permanent record. Looks like he's led a pretty sin-free life. I always knew that kid was all talk and no action. Hands off that permanent record! By the looks of this kid, I'm gonna be needing that any minute. There's still a chance he'll pull through, right? Uh, sure. Harry, how'd you get back up here so fast? Guys, I'm omnipresent. Now, keep it down. These mortals can't see or hear me. Please, Death, you can't take Timmy. He ain't never hurt nobody. Not damn. What are you doing up here? I'm looming. Part of the job description. You wouldn't be so cruel as to take poor tiny Timmy away, would you? Just look at the kid. He's got the life expectancy of a tomato and a knife commercial. Heartless fiend. Can I watch? I don't see what everybody's so upset about. He's going to a better place than this one. Well, that doesn't really narrow it down much. Heaven, dimwit! Timmy seems like a nice enough kid. Why not give him a break? It's out of my control. He could go at any moment. Don't worry. A kid with his permanent record is definitely going to have it. How's the death business going? It's finally slowed down. Now that those rats have shuffled off. But it'd be easier if I didn't have to cover every death myself. An assistant or a partner can help everything. Yeah, that's what you think at first. You've got to take care of everybody that dies all by yourself? No, it's not as bad as it sounds. All my travel and expenses are covered. Take it easy, Harry. What's going on here, cops? We'll set up an emergency triage station to care for the rats injured in the recent robot attack. I need 20 milligrams of monosodium glutamate stat. How come there's only one rat here? We're not very good at medicine, apparently. <laughs> it's really pretty sad. Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? We're sorry, we've been too busy tending to the injured and infirm. <laughs> Even my coin slide hurts. Check back with us later. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! I'd rather shoot someone who wants to die. Well, I've got a feeling our new neighbor, the Mametron, is going to be a real nuisance. He's got his own gun, and he blurts out nonsensical phrases at random. You're right. He should fit into this neighborhood just fine. But what do you think Tiny Timmy's chances are of pulling through, little buddy? I'm no doctor, but I'd say the kid's f Kinda creepy how Bosco's been keeping his mama cooped up in that apartment all this time. You know, a boy's best friend is his mother. Let's go, Max. Whee! Thank you. Again? All right. Which form to use?
your own good, kid. It'll make the eulogy more interesting. What did you do? Give that back! Settle down, Timmy. The doctors say if you exert yourself, those stole my Ah, finally! A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to... Hello! Is that really this kid's file? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. You should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh well. You can tell me about it on the way to hell then. Later! How are you holding up, Jimmy? I'll just say you suck a m Timmy would have wanted it that way. Whee! Let's go, Max. We did warn you about Max's special dietary needs, right? Go away! Hiya, Timmy. Is your soul finally at peace? F no! I'm not at peace, Mr. Max! I'm f ecstatic to be on stage with such a f genius! Hmm, what was that? What is it doing? I'm down, kid. Did you taste her f nut log with whipped Simply divine! Oh my! Oh no! And the smells! It's like teen <laughs> With a <laughs> I simply cannot allow this! This show is cancelled! <laughs> well that was exciting! What? <laughs> cancelled? You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. Seen for tonight everything. Made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. Hmm, was that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. I suppose I should be grateful. But I'm not! Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave! Looks like we've broken hell. Don't worry, we can always raise some more! I'll bet that high and mighty Satan jerk won't be too busy to talk to us now. <laughs> we broke hell! This is why we can't have nice afterlifes! See you in hell! I was under the impression you were here to increase productivity. Blarg? And yet our efficiency is at an all-time low. How do you explain that discrepancy? Uh... I'm Blarg? We haven't been properly introduced. We're Sam and Max. You know, from the statues. Pleased to meet you. I hope you've guessed my name. Yeah, and you better release our pal Souls from Hell, 
because my excitable little friend is getting angry. And I'm angry, too. There's no need for that kind of talk. I'll gladly release your friends. Just sign this release. And that's that. Well, gee, Satan. Thanks. Now, just do me a favor and think of the most horrible thing you can imagine. Hmm. Okay. No, wait. Okay. Good. Now, off you go. Hey, what just happened? He traded his soul for that of all your friends. They never read the fine print. Now, Sam will spend eternity in his own personal hell. Huh, I'm back in the office. This doesn't seem so bad. Right, little buddy? It's taunting me with its precariousness. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. But I don't like darts, Sam. They're dangerous. Max, where are you? <laughs> Peeper's trash is substantially less interesting than Max's. These photos have been doctored. That never happened. It looks so real, but it can't be. Remember taking out Brady Culture? Not really. Those two soda poppers did all the work. Rhythmic accompaniment, no matter how sensational, can't help me now. Uh, do you ever take baths in this thing? Of course, Sam. Hygiene is very important. I'll take one right now. Oh, no. There shall be no singing of bears in hell. Wanna watch TV, little buddy? Too much TV is bad for your eyes! Let's sort our change instead! Have mercy! I bought that VCR at the supermarket. Well, that's a bad place for it! Next time, try an electronics store! The agony! Arsenic. I know just the person for this. It's past the expiration date, Sam! Spoiled poison. That's the worst. Empty. There shall be no quenching of thirst in hell. Hey, a bone saw. Gosh, I hope I can find someone's bones to cut. Boring even in the afterlife. Smile timber. Seems like only today it was Gabriel. Hey, mariachis. What's the matter? Frog got your throat? Oh, Sam, your plays on words are so delightful! Max never would have let me get away with that joke. It's busted. There shall be no letting off of steam in hell. Peepers, peepers everywhere! Should we fire up the old model volcano? Not indoors, it's messy! No hellish rats here. That desk belongs to Max. What is this word you keep saying? Max! Leonard? Not you, too! Okay, when Max gets here, we're gonna set you free. Shh, shh, don't tell anyone. Good. I wish Dick Dale would hurry up and die so we could get some good surf rock around here. A kinder, gentler hue. This will make a perfect housewarming gift for the next president. It's the brain of Abraham Lincoln. We were saving food for the apocalypse. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. I wonder why we didn't run into any of the toy mafia down here. I guess they're not popular enough. The amazing regenerating fro. She's still wanted in three states. At least the internet didn't come back to life. Not even Satan would stoop that low. Hey, the files have been organized. Chalk one up for Satan. I can't die, Sam. It's one of the perks of having me for a partner. Don't bother. The line's dead. Get it? Dead? Puns aren't so pretty when you're on the receiving end. 
Cause we're in hell? I can see you! We can't leave now, Sam! It hasn't been eternity yet! Never thought I'd see his ugly mug again. Where's the rest of the noose collection, peepers? Who would keep nooses in an office? That's just silly! Must get Max. Stop! Do not look outside! Hey, Sam! How's it going in there? Max, I remember now. You're my partner. <laughs> well, duh. You've got to come in here, little buddy. It's the most horrible thing ever. Sounds fun, Sam, but I'm too big to fit in the hole. Hey, Sam, listen to this. It's funny. That's what she said. Ah, get me out of here. What's going on out there? After everybody saw what Satan did to you, it got pretty awkward. I don't like hell when it gets all tense like this. The office just isn't the same without you, Max. I'm bored out here, too. Can you believe that Satan guy tricking me like that? Let's stack onion rings on his horns and throw them in the pit where they keep the gluttonous. It's that kind of thinking outside the box that makes me wish you were my partner. Peepers keeps telling me he's my partner. What? Nobody tries to steal my sidekick! I always thought you were the sidekick. Oh, sure thing, Sam. Don't go anywhere, Max. Relax, Sam. You're getting all weird on me. Hey, Max, look alive. What do I do with this? Don't eat it. Just get in here. Max, meet Demon Peepers. Oh, hi! Demon Peepers here says he's my partner and best friend. Hey there! What are you- Oh, God! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hey! Bye, Leonard. That was some of your best work ever, Max. I'm particularly proud of what I did around the carotid artery. Yes, excellent grouping. Shall we motor? Let's! What the devil? That hell was practically inescapable. Sorry, Satan. Your demon imposter was no match for the true power of friendship and cooperation. Plus, I ripped out his kidneys. Well, this does put me into a bit of a pickle. Management will have my head above this. Management? Who could possibly be more horrible and universally reviled than Satan? So, you finally figured it out. Sure, took you long enough. I take it you already know who my boss is. Know us? These fools have been essential to our plans. But how did you but get... You can't and when did Satan. you... And how what long have you done against us? And what did we do? Please, one question at a time. How did you guys go from minor annoyances to become rulers of hell? You still don't get it? Hate is the real power! We thought nothing could be worse than former child stars. But that was before we beat Brady culture to death and realized we were destined for much greater evil. It just felt so right! So we began to commit greater atrocities on the world. Reality television! Politics! The Intelligent Design Movement. A civil war. Each step made us more hated and more powerful. What did we ever do to you? You only ruined our birthday. It was one year ago today. You thwarted my journey to evil pop stardom. And you gave me severe diarrhea. And these glasses aren't cheap. And worst of all, the mariachis never came to sing for us! Wow, who knew the princes of hell would be such whiny little babies? 
So you meant to get Santa possessed by a demon? No, that was a clerical error. We thought some corporate efficiency would help Satan get his act together. But it seems he'll always be antiquated and useless. You know I'm standing right here. We did mean to kill that elf, though. What makes you guys think you'll be better at running hell than Satan is? The old ways are dying. It's time to bring evil into the 21st century. Our subcontracting and outsourcing of soul capture and processing has increased our efficiency tenfold. But we still have to convince the shareholders to believe in hell as a relevant player in the afterlife. Current marketplace realities and underlying economic considerations mean we have to downsize! Satan, we kept you on staff for sentimental reasons, but your performance continues to disappoint. But if you'll give me another chance... Clean out your desk and don't come back! That was fun! We've heard quite enough, thank you. Very well. Now that you've helped us depose Satan, there's nothing stopping us from continuing our agenda for domination of the Infernal Realms! Thanks, Sam and Max! We couldn't have done it without you! First action item, seducing a human woman and conceiving the new Hellspawn. I'm all over it! Second, tempting humanity to repeat the original sin. I've got it covered. And finally, winning a new modern soul over to hell. Because of the technical skill required, I'll be handling that one, obviously. Thanks for all your help, Sam and Max. <laughs> wow, I think unwittingly bringing about the apocalypse is a first for us, little buddy. Huh? Oh, sorry, I completely zoned out there. Did they say anything important? Never mind. Hey, Max! It doesn't seem fair that the Poppers could get their own kingdom just for being annoying and widely despised. I think it's just more proof that the system works! I don't know if Satan really deserved to be fired. His performance has been on the decline for a while now. Yeah, I guess that's what you get for peaking too early in your career. I heard that now Idi Amin's in charge of HR. There's going to be some serious layoffs. Well, I heard that the Marquis de Sade was getting a demotion for what happened at the Christmas party. See you in hell, Max. Hi, Brady. Yes. So not only did the poppers beat you in the ratings, they beat you to death. Wow, you just gotta laugh. I said laugh. <laughs> Later, Brady. <clears throat> hey, SCP. Blarg! Keep up the good work. Blarg! trashed my store, hiring the best private investigator. It's time you tell me where he is. Tell me where he is! Well, there he is. Bosco? Mama? You mean you never thought to mention that your suspect was my son? I thought it was obvious. You're the one who's been after me all this time? It was all just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty daffy. A lifetime of persecution, all just a simple misunderstanding. Hope you're not mad, baby. We all go a little mad sometimes, Mother. Run along to the bunker. 
and I'll be in later with your dinner. I'm a ghost, baby. I don't eat dinner. Just do it! Bye, Sam and Max. Well, now that case is wrapped up. I'm off to the party. You coming, Bosco? Party? Oh, hell yeah! Well, we rescued Bosco from hell, just as crazy as when we left him. Maybe even crazier! Hiya, Satan. How's it hanging, old Scratch? The financial situation is quite dire, I'm afraid. I did wash your windshield for you. Oh, I, I uh, must have left my change in my other suit. Max? I'm naked. Yes. Well. We hope you're not still angry at us for getting you fired and everything. Angry? You destroyed my entire life and unleashed an unspeakable evil on the Earth. All out of carelessness and a desire for personal gain. I invented that. I couldn't be more proud. How's the hunt for a new job going? A few nibbles, but nothing promising. I'm expecting a call from Rupert Murdoch next week. You're going for a new job? I still have to update my resume. It's been millennia. Make sure you include detail-oriented. Any suggestions on how to stop the poppers? Oh, so we're stopping them now, are we? I just assumed, since you spent so much time helping them... Jeez, Satan, we said we were sorry. Or at least thought it real hard. Oh, very well. I began to lose power when people stopped taking me seriously. Too many comical football mascots and cartoon depictions on deviled ham. If you can ruin their plans, make them appear ineffectual, I'll be able to stage a corporate takeover. The poppers are stealing all of your material. Yes, and from my glory days at that. If they're successful with this first round, they'll be unstoppable. Wizard made me do it, just doesn't have the same ring. We never expected that getting you fired would leave you with nothing. Yeah, after all these years, you should at least have a retirement fund. No, my golden parachute was just this cardboard box of all my possessions. Okay. I feel somewhat foolish, considering the billions of insurance salesmen and investment bankers I've met over the centuries. Can we get you a blanket or something? Might I trouble you to crash on your couch? It's just me in the box. Um, uh... We want to help you to help yourself. Stay strong, Satan. You'll make it through this. You're a survivor. Can we get some of stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long barbed paperclip chain. And the popper said you weren't being productive. Snack-sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the Great Deceiver. And one grocery list, written on company letterhead. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use, that's just wrong. The DeSoto seems different somehow. I'm a little scared of the DeSoto now, Max. We just finished paying it off, and it's still got repossessed. Let's go, Max. Hey, cops, what's shaking? Max has challenged us to a musical contest. First prize, a solid gold violin. Second prize, eternal damnation. <laughs> Who'd be stupid enough to take on that kind of challenge? We cannot talk him out of it. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! Well, 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 Specs. Just what do you think you're doing here? I'm going to do what Satan never had the skills to attempt. I'm going to win the soul of a computer. Ha! 
<laughs> you talk big now, but wait until you've heard me play. <laughs> Beat that! You can do it. Play like you've never played before. That sucked! Yeah. Well then, I'll just be taking... Oh, but there's a technicality. Right! Subclause 48, Section 5 in the contract clearly states that entities running at less than 8 megahertz are entitled to infinite do-overs. I don't remember reading that. Oh, Spax, a perfectionist like you, and you didn't even bother to read the details of the contract? Well, all right, it doesn't matter. I'll still win. You've got to stop this fiddle-playing contest. Think about it. How humiliating would it be to lose your soul to Spex? We're sorry, but there's just no talking him out of it. He keeps saying that he is the best that has ever been. He's got four whole kilobytes of unbridled arrogance. Tell Chippy to reconsider this fiddle-playing contest. He is stubborn and will not listen to reason. Once he gets a program in his head, he will not change it. Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? Thanks to a collaboration with the new Grim Reaper, we have an action-packed game of shooting rats who... We'll do it! Let me finish! Due to a clerical error, all of the city's rats were recently released from hell. Including ones that were supposed to stay dead. Oops. Shoot the evil rats to send them back to their final reward. That doesn't sound too hard. Your car has its own agenda. You must shoot the evil rats before your car hits them or you lose a point. What do we win? You're ineligible for our car upgrade, but you can play for some fantastic decals! Would you like to play now? Hell no. We want to upgrade our car. We're sorry, but your car already has the nitrous upgrade installed. He's just afraid to go near me. Why are you guys afraid of our DeSoto? When your car returned from hell, it came back processing. Wrong. Can't you do anything for the car? We're not going near that infernal thing. <laughs> it's evil. <laughs> evil. Would you like to play now? Hell yes. Initiating Augmented Reality Driving Sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Kimbler God Great Creeping 5000. Send the evil rest back to hell. Ready? Go! Excellent. Initiating you high. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! Well done. Good job. Remember, they're evil rats. Back to hell.
You bet. Them evil. Ready? Go! Your charred soul is evil and they'll have the face to bend. Twisted? I like it. Unbelievable! You've won every prize we've offered this year! I've never been so proud. Show them what they've won! Oh! It was totally worth the effort! Use only the freshest ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> Wizards really captured the heart and mind of Stinky. I hope that Forbidden Fruit Cider comes in a diet version. So you can develop those feelings of guilt without those nagging feelings of guilt. You think Stinky's gonna be strong enough to resist temptation? I don't know. That snake wizard is definitely a charmer. On the other hand, considering how well she's resisted serving us, or even remembering our names, there might still be a chance. Boy, Stinky sure is a misogynist, huh? Yeah, in his world, women are all either indecisive, overbearing, or outright liars. I'm sure glad we don't live in that world. Get thee behind me, Max. I'd prefer to stay upwind. Thanks. Give it up, wizard. She don't want what you're selling. Mind your own business. Stinky is beautiful and intelligent enough to make her own decisions. What's up, Stinky? Oh, good. It's Virgil and Ulysses. Actually, it's... Maybe you two can give me some advice. Mr. Wizard's offer sounds very tempting. Now, it all comes down to your per-bottle cut. Don't accept anything less than 10% for the first year with quarterly renegotiations. Done. Shut up, Max. Hmm, I'm still not sure. Welcome back from hell, Stinky. Oh, I'm back from hell, am I? And here I was, thinking that she was still here, acting like she owns the place. Must have just been my imagination. You're alive and back from hell making awful food again. What's the problem? She's the problem! Of course, I don't have to explain the benefits of exclusive distribution channels to someone with your experience. Look at him, sucking up to her when he should be sucking up to me! Making the moves on an attractive woman instead of a grizzled old man. Weird! Go ahead and laugh while she scuttles my life's work. 
What is it with you and girl Stinky anyway? Is she really your granddaughter? More or less. She was my protege, my most promising student. I taught her everything I know about the culinary dark arts. And this is how she thanks me! The hubris! I don't know. Girl Stinky's been doing a pretty good job of making the restaurant almost as awful as you used to. Yeah, and she does great things with trichinosis. So she's tricked you onto her side, too. If everybody could see her for what she really is, then things would be different. Really bad things will happen if you take that deal with Wizard. Don't tell me. Apparently she's the one in charge here. She doesn't appreciate our advice for some reason. Bah! She never did have my business sense. One slick sales pitch and she folds like an origami crane. Come on, Stinky. You've got to get over your grudge and convince her not to take that deal. Eh, she won't listen to anyone until... Hmm... I know what'll do it. Find her baby book and bring it to me. Remind her where she came from. That'll knock her down a peg or two. What did you want us to do again? Are you that dense? Bring me this so-called stinky baby book! Then everyone will see that she's not fit to be making the big decisions. Stay strong, Stinky. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good. Quick, read page 33. Well, I'm going to take the things about a cover on it. Don't put it in here. You cretin! Oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe! Read the name! The Cake of the Dam. Huh? What? Hee <laughs> that'll teach her. Well, maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. What have I done? Get lost, Wizard. Stinky ain't buying. Stop interfering with my plans to bring hell on Earth! What's going on here, Stinky? Hello, my friends. Stay a while and listen. What turned you friendly so quickly? I've made a terrible mistake. You've got to help me get her back. You old coot. You tricked us into making Girl Stinky disappear. Bah, she didn't disappear. She's still there. When you read her true name, you revealed her true form. Her true form? Is she a demon or something? In a sense, I suppose. She's the most diabolical recipe ever created. The Cake of the Damned. Uh, did we hear you right? Girl Stinky is a cake? I to start. I'd been experimenting with evil food for decades. You fiend! It was for the good of mankind. Humanity is weak and pathetic. Always complaining about food poisoning and severe gastrointestinal disorder. But only the strongest could survive my dishes. I'd create a master race. And the most vile combining an entree, sides, and dessert all into one bowl! No, never! The kick of the dumb <laughs> How did you reveal Stinky's true form? I told you, she was always a kick of the damned. When you read her true name, you revealed her true form. How do we undo your evil spell and get girl Stinky back to normal? You've got to do what I did that fateful night. The Cake of the Dam was only the first step. I knew that to take the dish from just evil to purely diabolical, it would need more. An appetizer! So I added... Spare ribs. Blasphemy! The next thing I knew, she appeared. The rib is the key. Serve us up an order of short ribs, Stinky. Bah! If I could find any, I would have already done it myself. With this barbecue convention going on, good luck finding anybody in the city with spare ribs. 
Whatever you do, Grandpa Stinky, don't let Wizard tempt you into making that deal. Don't listen to them! They're just jealous of your experience and wise life choices! Aye, well he does have a point there. You really think a guy dressed like that knows about wise life choices? Ah, you're right, of course. Look at me. As weak an old fool as I've ever been. The girl always was better at keeping her head about her, much as I hate to admit it. If that cider goes worldwide, humanity is doomed. Don't take that deal. He's almost got me convinced. The girl's the only one who can resist him. You've got to get her back. Stay strong, Stinky. Don't leave me alone with him. Get thee behind me, Max. I'd prefer to stay upwind. Thanks. Max, what's her situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old Stoneface. Peepers is the only man you need now. Oh, Peepers. Sybil, pay attention. What? Huh? Snap out of it, Sybil. It's... It's Peepers! I know it is, but I've just never seen him this way before. Oh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me, baby. Show some dignity, Sybil. But he's just... dreamy. It's like for the first time, I'm seeing him for who he really is. Show some dignity, Sybil. But he's just... dreamy. It's like for the first time, I'm seeing him for who he really is. What about your wedding? Don't forget about Abe. Abe who? Oh, Lincoln. Right. I haven't forgotten. I've just... I'm still single tonight, alright? What happened to the monster? Oh, is he gone? I wasn't paying attention. Said something about Abe's bachelor party. Does it bother you that Abe's having a bachelor party? No, we should all be free to have a little fun before we're married, right? Try to stay chaste, Sybil. Mind your own business. Oh, lady, you making me all tingly in my... Hey, Peepers. What? You may have Sybil fooled, but we can see what you truly are. Evil will reign! You must not disturb the vessel! Oh, baby. We'll find some way to break your spell over Sybil. Leave this place! Hey, Max! Yo! I hate to say it, but Peepers is kinda sexy. <laughs> if you're into short guys with annoying voices, I guess. If Peepers manages to seduce Sybil, it'll be really, really bad. Even without the whole birth of the hell spawn and the apocalypse thing, it's just really gross to think about. I still can't believe you were ever a fan of the soda poppers. Yeah, they sold out. I liked them before they were cool. Max, the soda poppers were never cool. Stay on the lookout, Max. Oh, Sam, Sam. I'm way too sexy to shoot. Better not. Hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. 
Ho oh, ho boy! Oh god! Woo! Yeah! Shake that money maker! Take it off! Take it all off! Women were hard to find in our neighborhood, but I didn't think it was this bad. You people should be ashamed. It's a living. Let's see that head up close. No new weenies, but that's nothing new. I hope Bosco's remembering to separate his recyclables. Hey, why aren't there any new magazines? And don't give me the old I was in hell excuse. I was in hell! He told you not to give him that! What are you doing here? You're not one of Lincoln's friends. I'm taking bets on which one of these amateur drinkers is gonna pass out first. You ought to be ashamed, Jimmy. That's just wrong. Fifty bucks on the chicken! What? Oh, Man, right. I need a better agent. I can't even get into surveillance photos these days. Bosco, we freed you from your personal hell. You don't have to be naked anymore. Oh, that wasn't part of my hell. I just like to be naked. And I'm not the only one who should be naked. Woo! Mr. Featherly. Oh, a salmon, Max. Uh, you, you better, you better not have a cow in there. <laughs> oh, I'll show you who's hiding a cow. Another celebrity meltdown. Shut up. You don't know my world! Do you have any singles? Yeah, but I'm saving them for when he gets down to his G-string. That's right, he's got to earn it. You're telling me Bosco's mom spent 40 years searching for the guy that ruined her store and never realized it was her own son? I don't know what I ever saw in her. Are we going to have to stick around this party much longer? I hope so! I want to see how you give a giant stone head a lap dance! Party on, Max. Tisk tisk, Featherly. Tisk tisk. Hey, hey! I want to show you something. <laughs> pull my wing! Go ahead, pull it! <laughs> pull my wing! <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Honest Abe, after all you and Sybil have been through, you got a stripper? Look, fellas, I'm marrying Sybil tomorrow. Today, I got needs, just like any other giant stone head. Abe. It's my last day of freedom. Party on, dudes! What's an unearthly horror like you doing in a place like this? I'm not a horror. I'm a dancer. How'd you get to be the stripper, Gruesome? I've got a lot of spare parts, and I know how to shake them. Woohoo! Flynn, you of all people should see how wrong this is. Ah, take a powder, Chaplin. Take off your hi hat and get a gander at the floor show. Flynn, you of all people. Ah. Hold still a second. No, keep dancing. Don't you fool with our strip. Yeah. I can't stop now. They like me. They really like me. It's a cooler full of punch. This ought to add some kick to their punch. Well, boys, another round? Oh, dear. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. Oh, I thought we were all just saying that. What have I done? I'm so ashamed. Here goes my innocence. 
I should have known hiring a budget stripper was a bad idea. Cool your heels, Flattop. The show's over, but I was just getting started. I knew it. There is no use for me. Conga line, who's with me? I am. Have you finally come to your senses, Flint? Somebody put a Mickey Finn in the happy juice, Sam, and I'm gonna find out who. Right after my head stops pounding. I hope you've given up the degrading exotic dancing career. Yes, I suppose now I just have to let this body go to waste. Sybil's the only one for me. Not monster strippers, no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, if the paparazzi catches me wearing not but a scarf, I must... I must contact Walter immediately. Don't look at me! Oh, I don't feel so good. Who would have expected the Lincoln Memorial's bachelor party would be such a disaster? At least it wasn't as bad as the Washington Monument's bris! Party on, Max. Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Whatever. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! A fool and his friends are soon parted. I got a rib. I hope you've given up the degrading exotic dancing career. Yes, I suppose now I just have to let this body go to waste. One, two! It's so close I can taste it! Easy, easy. Shut up, Max! How you feeling, Timmy? Oh! I feel like shit on a st Good. What are you doing here? Mr. Maintron's looking after me until Daddy gets back from his party. We're playing song lyric trivia! Mr. Maintron's almost as good as me! The boy cheats. Are you completely cured now? The doctors say I'm all better, but I've still got my f***ed up condition. Are you old enough to write, Timmy? Oh, f yeah! I've been in the hospital so much that Daddy's been homeschooling me. So far, I've learned to write ampersands, asterisks, number signs, and exclamation points! Glad to be back from hell? Oh yeah! I'm just disappointed the f***ing soda pop has never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see him, because I'm the biggest fan ever! No, Timmy, that's wrong! Max is right. The poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever! <clears throat> Ask me anything about them. How old is Specs? He's officially nine years old because he was born on a leap day. You lose again. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your worst. In episode 205, The Joy of Specs, what was the name of Wizard's urologist? Is that a trick question? Because in that episode, Wizard saw a gastroenterologist, Dr. Thundercolling. Sorry, Mr. Knight, but I'm just too f***ing good. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f***ing work. How many times has Wizard been married? Four times. Gotcha! It's... Let me think. Four times total, but one was annulled, and another was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. You lose again! Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f***ing work! What's Peeper's real name? 
easy. Everybody knows his name is What was that? I said his name is Sorry, Mr. Matt, but I'm just too good. See you later, Timmy. Have a day. So that's where the Esperanto book score went. I don't think Chippy's got a chance in you know where of winning this fiddle contest. His music's got so little soul, I wonder why Specs is even making the effort. Let's go, Max. Envy. It's Satan's grocery list. Cantaloupe, melons, chicken breasts, oregano, vanilla, and soda. Max, distract Mr. Bliss for me. Hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to... That's enough, Max. This thing works for everyone. You'll never find a love just like mine. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Bring it up! In episode 205, The Joy of Specs, what was the name of Wizard's urologist? Is that a trick question? Because in that episode, Wizard saw a gastroenterologist, Dr. Thundercolin. Sorry, Mr. Max, I'm just a melon farming trivia machine. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Peeper's real name. Easy. It's Dick Peacock. Ah. ah. You lose again. See you later, Timmy. Have a flippin' great day. You just let people know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. Ah! What? What? You ruined everything. What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret and given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Is the wedding back on track? Yes, but now I'm behind schedule. 
Um, let's not mention any of that Peepers incident around Abe, okay? We'll try not to. You know, a donation to my re-election fund would make it easier for me to keep my mouth shut. Still planning the wedding? Sure am. Peepers? What was I thinking? Hey, Max. Yo! Stay on the lookout, Max. Sam turned you back into a cake, but then oh, we... whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. What if you just... The lady said we ain't interested. Then maybe you... I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then. It's too good for you just anyway. And stay gone! Looks like you two have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. You going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you can, can you? How's it going, Stinkies? Just fantastic! Nothing brings in the hip, young clientele like a crotchety, centuries-old, tattooed, hairy man. Well, why don't you have another trivia contest? That's a fresh and original idea. Are you gonna stick around, Grandpa Stinky? Of course. Stinky's cuisine is in my blood. And vice versa. With my cooking skills and her taste for decor, we'll make this the most horrible dining experience known to creation. Glad to see you two are back and working together again. Coot! Troll up! Stay strong, Stinky. So, Stinky, why have you been lying to us all this time? What? I've never lied about anything. Specs gave me the answers to that trivia contest. Do you mean to tell me Herbert Hoover really was president? Nah, we meant all that bunk about your history. You never told us you were a golem made from cake and fish sticks. She doesn't know, lads. And let's keep that our secret. you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Just start playing.
Robinimo! I think I saw the face of God. You've got to admit it, Spex. You <laughs> just got served like baked ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. You will pay for this, Salmon Max. <laughs> don't be sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? When this case is over, Max and I'll come back to teach you guys about bling. Good news, Satan. We took care of all three of those poppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he does best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power plays. Oh. You've lost, poppers. It's time we put an end to this charade and returned hell to its rightful owner. What Satan said! Poppers! Assume demon form! <laughs> Behold! Papers the omniscient! He of the death gaze! Oh, God. Behold! Whispered on the tormentor! It burns when I see! Behold! Specs the dominator of... Oh, come on! Those are your demon forms? They're different colors. Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? Sam, I'm not enjoying the poppers anymore. Can I kill them? Not if I get them first. Banish the irritants! Sam and Max, we cast you into the pit! By the power of the bell! <laughs> and the book! So be it! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> Somebody help! By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. around the seventh circle. It's out of power, little buddy. Guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. Hello, Commissioner. No, Sam's here. I don't know, he just let me answer it. <laughs> Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my mucklucks. What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Congrats, pal. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. Whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. Okay, yeah, roger that. Love you, too. Do we have a new case, little buddy? Nah, same one. But Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Well, that'll be fun. We'd better hurry up and restore the balance of power in hell, then. A little help here, guys. It's locked. Just seeing a bell makes me salivate.
Hey, Max! What? Max, I'm thinking of starting a new, more aggressive diet and exercise regimen. You always seem pretty fit. How do you do it? Can't hear a word you're saying, Sam. The circulation's cut off in my ears. Let's wrap this up pretty quick, little buddy. I've got five months of TV to get caught up on. Yeah, the TV down here is all public broadcast and educational programming. And to think TV was the one thing I was looking forward to in hell. Sometimes I wish those poppers had never been born. Yes, but without the existence of evil, we could never truly appreciate the glory of beauty, wisdom, and virtue. Well, yeah, but those voices... Those just make you appreciate the glory of an old-school smiting. Be careful, Max. Hell is slippery when wet or icy. Whee! It's Satan's grocery list. And... Hey, SCP, what you reading? Barbar! What came over him? He's actually being productive. We live in bewildering times, Max. People really shouldn't leave ritual candles lying around. He's keeping the poppers at bay for us. That's Satan. What a guy. Time to pay, poppers. On second thought, perhaps I'll wait here. Time out for number three. Nothing happened! I guess one of the poppers has to blow it out. I don't like that we can see him digesting, Sam. It's all part of nature's hideous circle of life, Max. There's no point if I can't say see you in hell first. You don't look so good, SCP. You've got sloth and gluttony down. Just five more to go. Ice cream in hell, Max. What flavor is it? Hmm, looks like plain but... Who forgot to fill the pot? Just a pinch of tar. Damn! Papa Joe. Damn! A little ice cream. Damn! Now, through the magic of television, let's see the cake in its final form. You make it look easy, Sam. No way. Nah. I know three princes of hell who've got a special surprise coming! Why, you... you... you remembered for us? Oh, you guys! Happy birthday, poppers! The someone say... Birthday! Miss those guys. Don't ever say that again, Max. Not even as a joke. Well, boys, you've restored the infernal realms to their former glory. Thanks to your quick thinking and irrepressible spirit, hell is set. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of myself right now. We'd better run, Max. Sybil and Abe's wedding will be starting any minute. Later, Beelzebub. Sybil's paying me by the hour. Why don't you come by the reception, Satan? Really? I don't want you to get tired of me so soon, since you're going to be seeing so much of me later. I didn't like the sound of that. Don't spoil
sweated, Sam. We're bound to get reincarnated as each other a few times anyway. You crack me up, little blasphemer. Love is in the air, everybody. So hold on tight while we get on board the wedding train. You know it, baby. Oh, that's right. Are you with the bride or oh. groom, sir? Hmm. Wonder if I don't like either one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey! You're wearing white. Interesting choice. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate this twisted mockery of holy matrimony. It's so beautiful. I hope they have lots of children. Yeah, you would say that. Do you have the ring? Oh, shoot. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Hunter Buck says they don't last three months. What is it that you do? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this twice. I'm a bug. A bug! Interesting. May I interest you in a new blackmail opportunity? That's so sweet. Thanks for coming. Blarva. Thank you so much. Enjoy the dinner. Play Love Shack, baby. <laughs> Bye, kids. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You think we can trust him with our car, Sam? It's possessed by demons, Max. Can we trust the car? With them? Never be defeated. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs>